Going to college can seem like a big game. There are lots of steps to take and many choices to make before you reach the end. You will meet lots of new people, including some new friends, friends that will last a lifetime. You'll study at an advanced level with professors who are recognized experts in their fields and get priceless life experiences. By persevering and completing your studies, you will finish with a degree worth many times the cost. But there is a cost. Some costs, like housing, meals, and entertainment, are costs you have whether you are in college or not. Others, like tuition and books, are specific to a college education. Private schools may cost more than public schools, but the individual attention and opportunities can make the extra expense worthwhile. Optional activities like travel come at a price, but can also give you the educational experience of a lifetime. The game of college financial aid helps you get the money so you can focus on the education that is right for you without breaking the bank. How do you start? Take your first step by visiting the FAFSA website. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Make sure you go to fafsa.gov and not another website or else you might wind up paying money for what is actually a free application. To complete your application, you will need your social security number, plus some other information that can be found in your parents' and your own tax returns. At fafsa.gov, enter your basic information and retrieve your PIN number. Remember your PIN because you will need it to complete the FAFSA and to accept a Stafford loan. If you get stuck with the FAFSA, the Office of Financial Aid can help you. Be sure to call them. Financial aid funding is limited. In order to get the highest amount of financial aid, be sure to complete your FAFSA before February 15th or your school's priority deadline. It is helpful to complete your taxes before beginning the FAFSA to ensure your numbers match. You may be selected at random for verification of your FAFSA. If your FAFSA information matches your tax forms, you are in good shape to proceed. Based on your FAFSA, the government determines your expected family contribution. Your college uses this information to determine your financial aid award. Not everyone gets the same financial aid. Different students are eligible for different items and awards based on their FAFSA, their achievements, and money that the financial aid office has available to distribute. What does your financial aid award look like? If you have been offered a subsidized and an unsubsidized Stafford loan, it is up to you to accept or decline these loans. Remember, you have to use your FAFSA PIN to accept the loan. A Stafford loan requires no credit check and is guaranteed by the U.S. government. But it is still a loan, and you will need to pay it back. A Perkins loan is subsidized and is a need-based loan. It too must be paid back. Depending on your requirements, your parents have the option to take out a PLUS loan for your education. This is dependent on a credit check, and it needs to be paid back. If you still need more funding, private loans may be available from banks. These loans are generally at a much higher interest rate, but they might make the difference in you getting the education that you really want. Like all loans, these must be paid back. Some states have programs for scholarships and grants. Depending on their programs and your achievements, you may be offered other funds. Merit scholarships may also be available. Likewise, federal grants such as the Pell Grant and the SEOG may be awarded. Grants and scholarships are free money and do not need to be paid back. Finally, you may be offered federal work study. This very important financial aid is actually a job on campus, administered by the Office of Financial Aid. It can make the final difference in affording your education. The Office of Financial Aid helps you get in the game while ensuring you have the opportunities to make your education possible. However, it is up to you to make it happen, to enroll in classes and to work hard, ultimately earning your diploma at graduation.